Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes All The Way from Down Under and today I am going to be talking about, in my opinion, the best video game recording software out there on PC today. Now this is the video shadow play and I have to go and say straight out that this is only for NVIDIA graphics cards. If you have an AMD, it won't work. However, if you're deciding if you want to go and buy a NVIDIA graphics card or an AMD graphics card, I highly suggest they go and get in the video purely for this program and you guys will go and see why Shadow Play is absolutely amazing. So let's have a look. When you go and load up NVIDIA GeForce Experience, it's already in build, so that's fantastic. You don't need to go and download any extra programs. And the interface is really simple. So you've got an on and off button that's fairly self self-explanatory. We've got Two we've got a couple different modes. We've got shadow time, and I'll talk about that later. But let's go first up with the quality. And the quality is absolutely fantastic with this program. You can have your resolution set to the in-game, obviously, if that's what you would want it to be. And then you set your bit rate. I like the max it up at 50 right here. And then you can go and set your frame rate at 30 or 60, which is basically the industry standard. If you want to have smaller file sizes, obviously 30. If you want to get that pure, 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 crisp, smooth video, then 60 FPS is for you. It also goes and supports in-game and microphone recording. However, this is only on one track. It isn't on two tracks like it does in DX Tori and Action, which are two other really, really, really good recording programs. However, you have to go and pay for those. This one is free. If you go to the video graphics card, this is no extra cost to you. So I really want to go and point this out because this program is really, really, really nice. So let's go back to mode and shadow time. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're playing a video game, whatever, and you get this really cool 1v5 clutch, let's say, in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and you forget to, um, forget to have your recording program recording your screen. So you get this 1v5 clutch, and the demo screws up or something like that. You've got no way to come, come back and get that really, really, really cool clutch. Now, with most recording programs, you'll just be stuck in the muck. You couldn't do anything about it. But NVIDIA Shadow Play has a really cool function called Shadow Recording. Now, Shadow Recording, it just, in the background, records your game and you can set it for a certain amount of time. I've got it set for 20 minutes, you can set it from all the way from one minute all the way up to 20 minutes. And as you can see, the file size isn't even that big in my opinion. So, it just in the background, it will go and record, and if you get one of these clutch moments, these really, really cool moments, and you forget, you forget to initially go and record that, you can just do a hotkey, which in my opinion, uh, which in my setup is Alt-Subtract, but you can go and do it to whatever you want. It will go and record, it will go and save those last 20 minutes. It also goes and supports normal recording, manual recording, where you literally just press a hotkey, it'll record, and when you're done, you press that hotkey again, it will just save the file. So it does the generic manual way, and it has a shadow function, which in my opinion is the best thing about this program, because no other recording program has it. If you go and forget to start recording, shadow play is always there if you go and get a cool moment. So let's go and have a look at the settings as well, and there isn't too many in my opinion, but there's enough to go and make you a little bit a little bit happy. So you've got overlays right here, and you can go and put your camera. So if you've got a webcam, it'll go and link into that, and you can go and put it in the top right hand corner. In my opinion, I personally wouldn't use this unless you're really lazy at editing. I would rather go and record it separately and then edit into Sony Vegas, but it's there if you want it. And you can also go medium, large, small, and whatnot. You also got a status indicator, which tells you if you're recording or not recording. Obviously, you want to have this on. And also, you've got an FPS counter. So I've got mine in my top left-hand corner. I've got my status in my bottom right. That tells me whenever it's green, the green little button there, whenever that's green, obviously, it's going to be recording. And whenever it's not, it's not recording. Now, you can also do desktop capture. So right here... It will go, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's got that little recording, that status indicator I talked about a little, uh, just a little bit before. So it's there if you want it. So if you want to go and capture like I'm doing now, I'm using a separate program obviously, but it's also really good to go and capture your desktop. 
Now your microphone, you can go and have it as always on. I really do prefer to have it on this mode. You can have it on push to talk as well if you want to or only want to record certain parts. And then you just got a, a shit ton of keyboard shortcuts as you can see. Shadow recording, you can do there. Toggle, man, ta uh, toggle manual recording on and off, blah, blah, blah. And I also forgot to mention a little bit before, you can do live streaming on this as well. And that's really cool. You can go and live stream the Twitch. It, it just kind of cuts out the middleman of using a program like Open Broadcast, the software. You can just go and use it from here. I'm not going to go and set it up, but you can just log in, blah, blah. It's really, 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 really easy to go and set up. And that is absolutely fantastic if you don't want to do all the, you know, the quote unquote work to go and get a live streaming uh, program set up. So let's go back to the settings right here. And as you can see, it's really not that many. You just got a save location. And one really cool thing about this uh, save location, if we go to my shadow play, it goes and does it in uh, according to the type of game. So Counter-Strike Global Offensive, it'll do it in the Counter-Strike Global Offensive file. You've got League of Legends, it'll do it in the League of Legends folder, which is absolutely fantastic when you go into a program like DxTory, which is I personally use most of the time for my live commentaries. It just has all the different games here, and I have to manually go and make my different uh, my different folders to go and differentiate it. That's the same for Bandicam, as I'm using right now to record this video. It's the same for Fraps. It's the same for everything, except for Shadow Play, and that's really cool. That's a nice little neat neat function. Then you've got a temporary files location. Obviously, you want that on your fastest hard drive, so I've got that set to my SSD. But overall, this program is super, super, super simple to go and get us get set up. You just got to go toggle around with some sliders and shit. And in the end, it's one of the best recording programs, in my opinion. I highly suggest you guys go and download it. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, if you have an AMD graphics card, there is a alternative to this program. But I don't really think it is as good. But there is my overview of NVIDIA Shadowplay. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys use it. And if you do, make sure, send me a private message showing me your video because this program absolutely blitzes everything else in its uh, all its competitors at. Just completely blitzes it. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under.